Why did God make some package and some naked? And I wanted to see what is going on with. There are two kinds of ministry gifts. The gifts of the spirit that Pastor Ben read is the basic thing every believer should have. Plus their natural giftings and talents. Then with that, those are the equipment, you go into one of these ministries. There are two branches of ministries. These ones are giftings, the other two are ministries. Either you go into the ministry of the church, the fivefold ministry, become a pastor or apostle if you're called into that, or you go into the ministry to touch the whole of society. Like I said at the beginning, only 10% can function in the church. The rest are to function out there in the society where the people are. So, the gifts that you need to function in the church are naked seeds. They are priests. They are prophets. They are pastors. They don't really need too much packaging. They need to be raw. Let the people of God see the thing as it is. But the gifts that God is sending out to the world, to the society, they need packaging so that they can be accepted more easily. That's why if we equip the body of Christ, the 90% that is idle, sitting down doing nothing, we can reach the whole world. What God did is that he took the same ministry gifts he put in the church. The same thing. They are all seeds. He took the same gifts and repackaged them. He just packaged it. Repackaged them in different forms. And then released them to the world to go and reach the dying world. There are some he package as doctors because there are more people that go through the hospital than the, that go through the church every year. So that, that man as he's dying, there is a pastor that will reach him before he crosses into eternity. And in many cases, that pastor will save him because he may not have finished his life here on earth, help him so that he can return. And by the time he's returning back, he has now become a child of God because he met a pastor that is a doctor. What is the purpose, the number one purpose of the packaging that God gave to the fruits? For marketing purposes, for attraction purposes. If I put a mango seed on this table and put maybe three mango seeds and put three mango fruits here, many of you will pass, you will notice the seed. It doesn't draw attention. It doesn't, it's not as attractive. The moment you see the fruit, oh, wow. You see the colors when it's ripe. It is designed, like look at apples. Sometimes when they arrive, it's red. Some are green. Some are yellow. It's designed. It's packaging by the master creator to get attention. Instead of what is happening to many pastors begging people to receive Christ, a doctor doesn't have to beg his patients. When your doctor is talking to you about your health, and finally he now decides to talk to you about your your soul. He said, you know, what is going on with your life needs more than just medicine. You know? I'll do my best for you, but you need to seek God, my friend. I think it's time you make peace with your, your creator. You, nobody will tell you. You listen. He has other gift package as judges. And you have a case now, you come in there and the man that's supposed to throw you into jail. And after he has done his job, oh, he said, I want you to come and see me. You come. He said, you know, after looking at this case, you deserve to have 50 years. I just lowered your case to seven so you can go in there and learn, hoping that when you have learned that you can get amnesty and come back and be useful. You are responsible. Why will you dumble yourself into this kind of criminal activity? Now, my friend, I want to talk to you about something else. You need to make peace with God. It's time you change your life. And he's talking to you about giving. You're a judge, the judge, the judge in the court. But he's a pastor repackaged as a judge. You see, God packages this seed with professional skills. That's why it's good to get education. That's why Paul, the apostle, was far, 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 far more effective than Peter. Peter was just an illiterate fisherman. He was anointed, but he was a raw seed. But Paul was a lawyer. He was a Roman citizen. 
he had he speaks greek he speaks roman language plus hebrew that's why God used him to reach the Gentile nation, nations of the world. One man reached many nations. Why Peter was still struggling with Israel? Why? He was educated, trained under one of the professors of that time called Gamaliel. God uses education, capacity building, human capital development to package you. God uses your professional skill. Not all of you should go and be answering reverend, pastor, no, doctor, professor. That might give you penetration in certain places that that reverend might not work. Listen to me. 